I have to admit that when reading some of these classic pieces of literature, uh, I usually skim past all of the geographical details. So for example, some classics have pages and pages dedicated to describing the landscape, so like trees and mountains and rivers. And some people are blessed to be able to appreciate all those details naturally and easily. I have to work at it a little bit. In today's Gospel, St. Matthew starts by giving us a geographical account of the area in which Jesus came from. It's important for us not to skip over those details just to get to the good parts, you know, because those geographical details mean a lot. So it says, for example, that Jesus made his home in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulon and Naphtali. The territory of Zebulon and Naphtali. Big deal. So what? Well, hold on. Wait a second, because there's something in those areas. There's something in naming those areas that Matthew wants to communicate something to us. The gospel writer is trying to tell us something. He's trying to teach us a lesson. And the reason is because Zebulon and Naphtali, traditionally for ancient Jews, was a dark spot on the map. If an ancient Jew could take a historical eraser and erase those areas and those events that happened in those areas from their timeline, they would definitely do so because it's where Judaism fell apart in, in a really embarrassing way to Ju Judaism's enemies, so the Assyrians historically. So it was... That area was, was um, associated with embarrassment and shame. And anyone coming from the land of Zebulon and Naphtali would have had a bit of a stigma attached to them. This is where God chose to make his home. This is where he chose to come forth, to shine his light. So the lesson is this. God is not afraid of dark places. He's not afraid of embarrassing places. And that's great news if you and I knew what that meant for all of us. What's an area in your life right now that resembles Zebulon and Naphtali? What's an area in your life that you would like to see erased from your, from your historical timeline? Because if there's one truth that Jesus wants to communicate to us, it's that he's not afraid of messiness. He's not afraid of darkness. He, was, he proved this to us just last week when we celebrated his birth, when he allowed himself to be born in less than ideal circumstances. So the land of Zebulon and Naphtali was symbolic of darkness and embarrassment for Jews, but that is precisely where the light of Christ began to shine. So challenge yourself today to give those areas over to Christ. Those areas of darkness, of embarrassment, of shame, give it over to the Lord, let him shine his light on those areas, bringing you healing, conversion, and hope.